Sean Tier, S-E-A-N-T-E-A-R-E, Chief of the Harris County DA's Office of Vehicular Crimes Division. Uh, this morning, at a, a little after 10 o'clock, um, the, the Nissan behind me was stopped at, at this light here at Cunningham uh, and uh, in West Little York. Um, they were headed eastbound. They were stopped at a red light. The tow truck uh, was headed, was towing another vehicle and was headed eastbound as well at what we believe is a very high rate of speed. Uh, we, we see no indication that there was any braking prior to impact. Uh, he ran into the back of that Nissan, drove them a, a number of feet into the ditch here. Uh, and tragically, there was a four month old or a, a, an infant, four to seven months old in the back seat of that car uh, and, and was transported to the hospital where he was pronounced deceased. The tow truck driver stayed at the scene. Uh, he's been interviewed by the, the deputies. I've accepted the charge of manslaughter on him today. Uh, he was taken into custody here at the scene. He's being transported to the Joint Processing Center where he's gonna go through the same evaluation that we do with every crash. Uh, we don't believe at this time intoxication played a role, uh, but we're gonna rule that out before we move on with the investigation. But, but a charge of manslaughter has already been accepted on him. Uh, and so we're gonna wait for probable cause hearing and then he'll He'll have a court date at some point this week. So the silver car was stopped? That's correct. The, the Nissan, the silver car directly behind me was was at a complete stop here at a stale red light, meaning the red light had been had been red for quite a while. Uh, the tow truck just just disregarded the traffic control device, the red light, and ran directly into the back of the of the Nissan. Yeah, and, and when you look at, at this scene that we're out here on the traffic was not heavy, um, and, and it's not, there's no obstructed vision. This is a wide open road, um, which, which sadly is probably the reason that the, the vehicle was traveling so fast in, at the beginning. Um, you know, there's not a lot of traffic, wide open. Um, and when you drive like that with a complete disregard for, for anyone else around you, things like this happen. Um, we see this all too often. When you're talking about a little infant, a, a baby who hasn't even had a chance to really see the world yet, and he's taken from his family, uh, it, it certainly adds another level to to an investigation like this. Um, we, we see things like this way too often, and we all stand around and, and look at the aftermath of one person's selfish and reckless acts, and it's you know, it, it becomes pretty difficult. That's correct. That that was the that was the tow truck driver, uh, and he he is not injured. Uh, he was not transported from the scene. Uh, he reported no injuries. Um, and well, we obviously everyone else in that car was transported. Um, so we're we're waiting. There may be additional charges that that come out of this for aggravated assault. Um, as we get the medical records, as we talk to the doctors. Um, to really determine what injuries anyone else in that car sustained. But this is the very beginning of this case. We're, we're gonna look at everything. We're gonna forensically download the, the tow truck. We're gonna actually see how fast he was going. We've gotta then put that together and the Sheriff's Department reconstruction team and their whole vehicular crimes division is really among the best in the entire state, if not the country. So we, we rely so much on them for the evidence that we're gonna to have to get to, to further prosecute this case. And we work hand in hand just, just about every day. So we're gonna wait and see what they what they finally determine as to the speed and things like that and the injuries before we just decide on any other charges. So he was towing a car and going that fast? That's, that, that's what the evidence shows us right now, yes. Yes. Uh, So, so we don't we don't really know. There were there were either two or three people in the car, um, but as you can imagine, especially when you talk about a little one like that, everyone got transported so quickly that, that we're now going to go to the hospital. We're going to assess and see everyone who was in the car, as opposed to family members that were able to get here very quickly. And we just don't know right now who else was in the car. We, we know for certain that the mother was in the car. We know for certain that the, the little boy was in the car. Um, and 
until we get a full handle on it, that's why we're going to withhold charges as to whether or not this defendant is going to face another aggravated assault, two more aggravated assaults. But right now he's charged with manslaughter for the death of the infant.